Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the um, classic uh, Doctor Doom figure. Uh, so here's the outer packaging here. So you get that red and black coloring through the, uh, the words here. So you get that Doctor Doom logo here. You get the old fashioned Fantastic Four logos here. You get the Marvel Comics logo on the corner here. Uh, nothing on the side here, nothing on the back besides those words, and then here's the DCPI. Nothing else on the back, other side, nothing on top, and nothing on the bottom, so let's crack it open. And here's the Doctor Doom packaging here, so you get this really old-fashioned uh, action figure packaging here. It, I like this a lot, so let's start with the box here so first you get the old-fashioned fantastic four logo like we saw in the outer part except for this wording's yellow with a red outline around it red fantastic four logo you get the fantastic four here with the flying car thing Ooh, excuse me you get the thing mr fantastic human torch and invisible woman and then here's dr strange right here you get the dr strange logo there with the Doctor Strange comic looking artwork there. Nothing on the side. Here's the back. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's the DCPI like we saw earlier. Nothing on the side, nothing on top, nothing on the bottom. Besides that, let's crack them, crack them open. And here's Doctor Doom out of the packaging here. So he has a bunch of accessories. So let's go over those first. So first, let's go over the books. So yeah, it comes with this book here that looks like it would be Doctor Strange's spell book. It's red. I like the red here. I like the sculpt. I think they are using the same sculpt for all the other books. So yeah, it's the same sculpt. All they did was change the decal on it for the Doctor Strange uh, logo there. And then the inside, you just get a bunch of graphs, a bunch of scribbling for words. Uh, you get more graphs here. I think I'm holding it nope i'm holding it right um and then you get some wearing and stuff like that i like this texturing and paint uh paint job here a lot and then you get the like individual pages here so i like that a lot and then here's this other one i don't know which one this is but it looks like an e there um but yeah it's gray instead and same deal with the pages same sculpt same paint job so yeah, there's that. Uh, my phone's about to die here. Ah, come on. There we go, much better. All right, so yeah, same stuff. Um, and then you get two of these blasting effects here. Uh, translucent yellow, which I like a lot. And I didn't know where to put them at first. I thought they were for his hands or something, but then I realized, I remembered that they have this like jetpack looking thing here. So you just port them in like this. And then, yeah, if you guys want to take off the cape, you can give it a better look there. So, yeah. Um, but you get two of these here. Um, and then you get two... I mean, oh, wait, forget it. I can't forget about this piece. So, we've seen this piece before with the Mr. Fantastic figure. I think that the first one we've gotten, the classic one. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but I think it's one of the weaknesses of Galactus. And this one is just a different paint job. It's just all black, whereas the last one, it was just all gray. So, yeah, there's that. I forgot what this was called, but, yeah. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, little accessory we get there. And then we get two fisted hands here. So, I like the piece, the hands here a lot. You get a little bit of marbling here. But it kind of, I think it gives it a little bit of, like, a steel look to me. I like the paint job here too. So yeah, there's that. You get two of these. And then you get one hand that holds a book. And I think this one's a little different compared to that one. Nope, never mind. It, for some reason, I thought the sculpting was just a little different. But yeah, this one's for holding the books. And then you get this one where he's like doing, practicing his spells and stuff. I like the little knuckle pieces or sculpt there. So that's cool. Um, I'll go over the figure itself here in a little bit. And then you get two of these, uh, spell, um, effects here, which I like a lot. We've seen them before with, like, for fire effects or stuff, or something like that to go around wrists. So, yeah, I'll, I'll show that in action here in a little bit, but you just wrap this around his arm. 
to give it that effect. So yeah, we get two of those. Besides that, that's all we got for um, accessories. So let's go over to figure here. So first we got Dr. Doom's face. You get the nice brown eyes here. You get, I like the face sculpt a lot. You get a bunch of bolts through there. I like the mouthpiece sculpt there. That's really cool. And then we get hood here, nice and green. And then you also get that little neck sculpt back there too. And then you get this cape here, which I think we've seen before. And then you just get this like little gold color piece here with the chains. I like the sculpt for these. So yeah, and then you, you get this soft good here, which is fabric. I don't wanna mess with it too much, but it's very stretchy. Um, so I like that a lot. And you get these like sh uh, sharp cuts here. So that's cool. And this is like one of the first soft goods I think Hasbro has done in a while. I haven't seen any soft goods in a long time. So I like this. Um, and then you get a little bit of a lighter green paint throughout the main part of the, like, I guess, clothes. I like this sculpt here. You get, you could kind of see that where it's kind of like weaved or sewn in. So that's cool. And you get this belt here um, with that holster for his blaster. And yes, you can take out the blaster, I think. Yeah, you should be able to. So yeah, you just undo that and pull it out like that. And then you get his little pistol, which what looks like a Nazi World War II pistol. I'm not sure. Or World War I or World War II. I think it's World War II. Uh, so yeah. Um, and then I like the belt a lot here. You get that nice leather look here. Uh, and you get this gold buckle. It's pretty cool. Um, and then for the arms here, I like this part a lot. So you get some more bolts through the arm here, shoulders. Uh, you get this like little extra piece here that goes around the elbow, which I thought was what's doing the elbow joints, but it's not. It's just an extra piece that gives it that effect, which I like a lot. Um, so yeah, that's a cool little uh, add on there and then this they have this little gauntlet piece which you can take out if you want by popping off that and then just take that off but I don't like that because then it just leaves that little gash in his arm there for some reason but yeah I, there's that little piece in there that uh, covers that up and you get some bolts and stuff through there so that's cool just slide that back in and like I've said with the hands here um, so yeah, you get some of those knuckle pieces there, which I like a lot. I like the silver that they use for this. One more cool thing in the armpit area. They did a cool sculpt there, so that's cool. Um, and then moving on to the legs. They did the same deal with the elbows. They just did the, the same thing with the knee pads. So yeah, you get that little circle there. That's cool. You get a bunch of more bolts through there. Inside the knee part, you get some interesting looking sculpt there more bolts and stuff and then boots nothing real special about those except for maybe like it, it kind of gives it that armored look you get more sculpt through the ankle area too and you get this like silver buckles here so that's cool um but besides that let's go over his articulation here so his head can hinge down that far up that far you get him to go left and right here you get a little head pivoting here. Your shoulders can move out. I was a little scared there. I thought I popped out the shoulder. Way past 90 degrees. You get 360 rotation around the shoulder here. You got bicep swivel, double jointed elbows that go past 90 degrees here. His wrists can hinge down that far, up that far. And then his book one moves side to side. So it's down that far, up that far. And then 360 rotation for both arm uh, hands. Uh, he has a ball joint at the waist, so you get him to go forward that far, backwards a little bit. You get him to go side to side here. You get him to go 360 rotation around there, but it clicks a lot, so that kind of words me just a little bit. His legs can kick out that far, which is nice how they did that little cut there, so you can kick him, make his legs kick out a little bit more to the side forward just a little bit because the skirt part kind of restrains that bit 
his legs to kick out just a little backwards. He does have a thigh cut up there. You can't really see it that well. He does have double jointed elbows, which actually almost get him to do a butt kick almost. Uh, and then he has, his ankles can hinge down very far up that far and nice ankle pivot. So I like this figure a lot. I like the soft good that they added in there, which is cool. I like all the accessories that they have in here. So like the books and then this piece that I don't remember what's called, but it's the Galactus's weakness. I like how they added that little jet pack there. So you have a choice to take off the cape if you want to, but I'm gonna keep it on because I think it just looks better to be honest. Um, but I like the colors, I like the paint. I don't really have any issues with it besides maybe I guess I don't have a problem with ab crunch because he won't be going forward back uh, that much because he stands up straight most of the time. Um, but like all the pieces and stuff like that, the articulation's good. Um, so overall, I think this figure is a really cool figure. So I suggest getting them. And the packaging I like a lot too. It's really like brings back a lot of memories to how action figures were packaged and stuff like that. So. Um, but the figure itself, I love it. I like the effects, it, like the cool ideas that they have with the knee pads and elbows. Those are pretty cool. So besides that, that's all I've got. Uh, and thank you for watching.